Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here, from what we have here, you can multiply this directly as x times x, that's same thing as x square, then over also 6 times 6 here, that's same thing as 6 square, then equals to, on this side as well, we have 6 times 6, that's 6 square, then over x times x, we have x squared. Then from here we can cross multiply and we have x squared times x squared. Then equals to also c squared times c squared. Then from what we have, when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power n, is same thing as a raised to power m plus n. At this here we had this power. And this become x raised to the power 2 plus 2, then also equals to 6 raised to the power 2 plus 2 here, which implies here we have x raised to the power 4 equals to 6 raised to the power 4 here, and also here we can take 6 raised to the power 4 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to the power 4 minus 6 raised to the power 4 then equals to zero from here then also here this can be written as x square then all squared as two times two here with four then minus also here we have six square then all square equals to zero from here then what we have here follows difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket also a minus b then from here a is standing as x square and b is standing as six square then what we have here follow this and becomes x square plus six square into brackets then also open brackets x square minus 6 square close brackets then equals to 0 from here here we have two possible cases that is x square plus 6 square equals to 0 or we have x square minus 6 square equals to 0 from here that is Solving on this side, this follows when we have a square plus b square, which is same thing as a plus bi into brackets, then also open bracket a minus b high. That is what we have here follow this and becomes x plus 6i into brackets, then open bracket x minus 6i close bracket then equals to zero from here and here we have two cases that is x plus six i equals to zero or we have x minus six i equals to zero here that is from here we have x equals to minus six i then from here as well we have x equals to six i these are two complex solutions we have here. Then also solving from the second case here, which is x square minus 6 square equals to 0. This also follows the difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. That is, what we have here becomes x plus 6 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 6, close bracket, equals to 0 here. That is, we have two cases as well, x plus 6 equals to 0, or x minus 6 equals to 0 here. On this side, we have x equals to minus 6. We have a real solution here and 
here we have x equals to 6 also a re solution here so altogether we have four solutions here two re solutions and two complex solutions now let's check here if this solution satisfies this given problem that is from what we have x1 the first solution here equals to 6 x2 we have minus 6 x3 we have 6i then the fourth one x4 we have minus 6i now let's substitute here 6 into this equation and what we have here becomes 6 over 6 times 6 over 6 is it equals to here also we have 6 over 6 times 6 over 6 and 6 over 6 here same thing as 1 times here we have 1 as well is it equals to here also here we have 1 times 1 then 1 times 1 here is 1 then equals to also 1 times 1 here 1 so left answer equals to right answer x equals to 6 satisfy this given problem now we check for x equals to minus 6 as well then what we have here becomes minus 6 over 6 times minus 6 over 6 is it equals to 6 over minus 6 times 6 over minus 6 here then from here this same thing as minus 1 times also minus 1 here is it equals to also here we have minus 1 times minus 1 and minus times minus is plus so 1 times 1 that's 1 is equals to this side as well minus times minus plus 1 times 1 1 and left hand side also equals to the right hand side so x equals to minus 6 satisfies this given problem then also we substitute x equals to 6i then what we have here become 6i over 6 times 6i over 6 is equals to 6 over 6i times 6 over 6i then from here this is same thing as i times also high here is equals to here we have 1 over high times 1 over high here i times i that's i square then is equals to here 1 times 1 1 then i times i i square then from here we have root minus 1 same thing as i therefore when we take the square on both sides minus 1 will now be equals to i square so i square is minus 1 so here we have minus 1 is equals to 1 over minus 1 then we have minus 1 equals to here also this is minus 1 left answer equals to the right hand side so here this 6i also satisfy this given problem so in the same way we substitute x equals to minus 6i and what we have we got minus 6i over 6 times minus 6i over 6 is it equals to 6 over minus 6i times 6 over minus 6i then here this becomes minus i times also minus i is it equals to here we have 1 over minus i also times 1 over minus i the minus times minus is plus so i times i that's i square is equals to here also we have 1 over i square that is i square is minus 1 then equals to 1 over minus 1 this minus 1 also this side is minus 1 left answer equals to the right answer hence here minus 6i also satisfy this given problem so therefore we have two real solutions here and two complex solutions and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe to master t math class for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up put your comment see you next class and bye for now